The lighting of the Olympic flame in ancient Olympia is one of the most iconic moments in sport. A meticulously choreographed dress rehearsal took place at the venue where the Olympics were once held for more than 1,000 years. The flame was lit by a priestess before the Temple of Hera. The ceremony then proceeded to the restored Olympia Stadium. This year, the torch relay will have extra significance as it will pass through the Elianus refugee camp. A Syrian refugee will be among the torchbearers. Olympism is uh, peace, friendship, uh, it's truce. So, of course, it has to pass by uh, camp, uh, by refugee camp. Uh, to show to show the people what what are, what is the importance of peace and truce, and what is the importance of uh, you know uh, helping and sitting behind someone who is desperate and harm, someone who is in need of uh, in need of help. This flame will be kept as a backup in case cloudy skies or rain derail Thursday's ceremony. For those involved, this dress rehearsal offered the chance to see their work finally come alive. The message we're supposed to put across for peace with the Olympic Games, I wanted it to be topical, 21st century, the peace between man and planet. That was, that, I wanted that to come across, so being at peace with our environment. And this is something which is a very important lesson to gain from the Greeks, the ancient Greeks, because in their religion, the land was sacred and holy. They worshipped sun, moon, wind, sea. But obviously seeing it together with the music and the choreography, I think it all came together really nicely. Well, this dress rehearsal appeared to proceed seamlessly, but shortly the Olympic flame will be lit for real and its journey towards Rio 2016 will then begin. Dan Williams, CCTV, Olympia, Greece.